Hi, and welcome back to my quarantine kitchen. Thank you for being here. I'm Bobby Jean. I hope that you are doing as well as can be expected considering our current quarantine, self-isolation, social distancing, lifestyle, which we must certainly endure to do what needs to be done to rid ourselves of this horrible pandemic. I hope that you are watching this video safe and happy and healthy. And my thoughts are with each and every one of you. So I've got a little bit of therapy for you today. We're going to have some fun with this Ninja Foodie indoor grill that I showcased in my last video where I perfectly grilled a filet mignon for dinner and also a wonderful moist chicken breast. This go around, I'm gonna show you some of the air fry capabilities. We are going to air fry chicken wings three ways. We're going to try it with a chicken fried coating. We're going to try it with dry seasoning and we're gonna try air fried with a wet marinade. I also have some chicken legs that I would like to test two different ways. One coating the chicken with egg before breading it and the other coating it in only water before breading it. I'm really curious to see if there is any significant difference in the texture, which egg is supposed to help in cooking. <clears throat> Last night, I grilled this fantastic apple bourbon marinated pork tenderloin, then glazed it with a raspberry chipotle sauce, hit it with some lime zest and cilantro afterwards, and I enjoyed some cilantro lime rice with chili with that, and let me tell you, it was a wonderful experience. And if we still had time, I would like to air fry some skinless, boneless chicken tenderloins, uh, or chicken tenders. Chicken breast is super lean and it's easy to overcook until it is dry and tough, but I believe the way my air fryer performs, it's going to be tender, juicy, and crunchy on the outside. And you know that's the way we like it. So put on your apron and your chef's hat and let's get this party started. Okay, we've got our three ways of doing chicken wings. Bam, we have Mojito Lime Grill Mates Marinade Mix, which is kind of an islandy mojito, mojo, mojo lime, very bright with uh, a lot of zip type of marinade that goes really well on practically anything. Bam! Here we have Louisiana Air Fryer season coating mix for chicken. This is a new product of theirs. They have that for pork, chicken, and fish. Bam! Here we have the Rib Rack Spicy Rub for Chicken. They have, I actually bought this at the Rib Rack in my travels, and they have very good rubs for all kinds of barbecue, and they actually make their own barbecue, which is fantastic. Okay, we have one chicken drumette right in here in the wet marinade. I've been soaking the air fryer, Louisiana air fryer chicken coating in cold water, so I'm gonna just coat that. This is more of a panko breading type of um, coating. It's not like dipped in batter three times over, you know, and then deep fried. So you're not getting that thick, crunchy batter that we all like on real fried chicken. It's lighter, but it still is super crispy and crunchy and tasty. Now over here on this, this chicken drumette, we're gonna drop into this rib rack spice rub. And we're just gonna do this one dry. I am gonna hit it with some avocado spray before it goes into the air fryer. Since we're not grilling on the grill, we're gonna be air frying. I'm going to set it up for that. And we'll use the same catch pan at base. The next cooking part is the air fry basket down in there like that you have a little bit of space between the basket and the bottom of the pan that will catch any drippings. Okay now we're going to close that up and we have to preheat first. Owner's manual here and grill chart, recipe booklet, and we're going to look for air fry. Right here, air crisp, sorry they call it air crisp. Um, and we're looking at chicken wings right here on the bottom. It, showing uh, if you're cooking two pounds, which we're not, we're just gonna do three drumettes. And uh, with bone in, toss in oil, one tablespoon, distributed among the pieces. And it's saying it's recommended 390 degrees for 22 to 26 minutes. I'm gonna change that up a little bit. Since we're only doing three, I'm gonna make it a little hotter. So I'm gonna preheat, turn it on, air crisp, 
it says 390 I'm gonna go up to 400 and hit start I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of avocado oil oil is already in the marinade so we're not gonna need that Okay, we're gonna let that preheat and once it's ready for the food, it will say add food and we'll drop those wines in there and the dude will taste comparison, see which one is my favorite. All right, it just beeped and says, hey, Bob Jean, let's add those chicken wings into the machine. So, on the right, dry rub. In the middle, lightly breaded. On the end, wet marinade. Okay, see you guys in a bit. So about halfway through, I'm gonna turn them. And if you wanted to, it says this frequently shake the basket in there. Uh, it's kind of a pain to try to get that basket out with mitts, you know, raise it up and shake it. So I just go in there and turn them over with some tongs. Okay, we're almost halfway there. Let's give them a turn. Oh, that's looking delightful. Okay, let's take a look. See how we're doing. Let's take them off. We got dry rub, rib rack on the right, Louisiana air fry seasoned coating mix in the middle, and mojito lime wet marinade on the left. Mmm, mmm, I can't wait. Okay, here comes my favorite part. Just as we had on the other countertop, we have here in order from your left to right, the wet mojito lime marinade, the Louisiana air fry chicken breading or coating in the middle and of course the dry rub rib rack chicken rub starting with the first one let's go ahead and work our way from the left to the right shall we first one up mojito give a second think about it green bell pepper garlic orange peel lime peel lime orange green be bell pepper onion powder and a amazing a little bit of zing a little zip a zest of the apple cider vinegar that also went into the marinade this has got a great texture on the outside the skin is nice and crispy like we like it the inside is moist and juicy like we like it so satisfying it doesn't feel heavy and laden and grease that greasy film around you in your mouth feel you know where you feel heavy all day the rest of the day this is super crispy moist and tender and juicy without the grease feel hmm. wow that's really good this is going to be a tough competition i'm probably going to be struggling a little bit moving on to number two candidate number two here louisiana breading for the air fryer it's got a nice looking texture on that it's golden brown this moisture peeking out from under that crisp exterior. Mm. <laughs> Major crunch. That's got a wonderful, wonderful, satisfying texture. Satisfying crunch. And the inside, I don't know if you can see the glistening of the moisture that lies below the flavor town of delightfulness. That's just a fun time right there. That's a fun experience. So tender. This is probably better than deep fried. I just have a clean mouthfeel, you know? I don't feel like all greasy and nasty. That's gonna be tough. Whew. Moving on, lastly, rib rack chicken, their chicken rub. The house smells fantastic, by the way. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, oh man. What is that satisfying taste in there? Way back in the back on the left side of my tongue, I'm getting something, uh, kind of a zing. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay, yeah, obviously I'm getting onion and garlic. Uh, I'm getting like a, a little bit of sugar. There's a little bit of sweetness there on the tip. And what is that in the back? It's got a little bit of a twang in there. Maybe it's got a little bit of citrus in this as well. But there's also something... Oh, turmeric? I don't see any yellow. Sugar, salt, spices. <laughs> spices, they say. They want to give it all away. Dehydrated onion, garlic powder, chicken flavor. Paprika. Paprika, turmeric. I love turmeric. All right, based on that little taste test, mojito lime, great. Crispy, 
moist, a little bit of zip, a little bit of zing, delicious in its own right. This, I might be a little uh, partial because my favorite fried chicken is breaded fried chicken like from KFC or from Popeyes, but this is really, really good. My choices in the order, it's really hard, it's really hard. My choices in the order of my favorite to my third favorite, I think if I docked this up a little bit with um, some kicking chicken or some sort of spicier cayenne or some, or some cayenne, something like this to make this pop a little bit more, I would pick this as number one because it's got the best immediate satisfaction in your mouth as far as crispy and texture, crunchy goes and the moist interior. But in order of what I think really impresses me the most is I'm gonna go with the rib rack seasoning spice rub for chicken. Number one. Number two, I'm gonna have to go with the Louisiana breading mix or coating. It's crunchy, it's delightful, it's light and crisp, retains a lot of extra moisture on the inside. This was also crazy good. Had a nice zing, it's totally different. It kind of hits you unexpectedly. You're not used to something exactly like that. It's not so common on wings, which is one of the reasons why I picked it because I love this on just regular grilled chicken. There you have it. Hmm. And that's only three options. I mean, I've got other ways of seasoning this in other, look at my spice cabinet. I've got all kinds of fun stuff to play around with in here. Some of my older secrets to newer stuff. Okay, I think I have time to squeeze in that pork tenderloin video that I did last night. You're gonna love it. Let's take a look. This is a pork tenderloin that I pick up from my local grocery store here. It's already in its own apple bourbon marinade. Saves you a lot of work. And it's sealed at the processing place so you don't have to worry about it have been handled by anyone here at the store. It's also a healthy option. This one is four grams of fat per serving. Total carbs of four grams, 130 calories. Okay, we'll be grilling this guy on the Ninja Foodi Grill here. I'll hit it with some cilantro afterwards and some lime zest to give it some zing. And before it's done, I'll hit it with this raspberry chipotle sauce, which will give it a nice glaze. And it's also a finishing sauce that I'll treat it with after it's done. Using a sharp knife, I'm gonna trim it up a bit. Flip the pork tenderloin around a little bit and look for something that looks like this. It's kind of uh, silvery, white looking. It might be covered by some of the marinade. This is called silver skin. It does not break down well and cook well. So we're gonna remove that. Now I'm gonna flip the pork tenderloin around and look for other areas of excess fat that I can trim off. Pork tenderloins generally do not have the same consistent thickness from one end to the other. Most pork tenderloins are thinner on one end than the other. So we know that from the last video, the key to successful cooking is consistency in the thickness of the meat. So this one, I am going to fold the thin end over and we're going to truss it up. Starting on the thin end, I fold it over and get me some cooking string here. Truss it up by tying it three times around the first time before you complete the knot. That way it will stay in place better. I'm gonna add two or three more string ties here to make sure that we shoot for that nice consistent thickness from one end to the other. There we go, three of them should do it. Now we're gonna get our scissors here and cut off the excess string. And here we have our lovely pork tenderloin sporting a very nice and consistent thickness from one end to the other. Okay, we're gonna to refer to our Ninja Foodi Grill recipe book here, and we're gonna look and see how long this should cook and at what temperature. It says pork tenderloin here for two of them, one to one and a half pounds each. We're gonna cook it on high on the grill, 15 to 20 minutes, and flip it halfway through cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and insert our grilling element and give it a shot of some avocado oil spray. Okay, let's turn on the grill, set it for high, and let it start preheating. We're gonna give our pork tenderloin a shot of that avocado oil as well. And once it has preheated, in goes our pork tenderloin. See ya. I had Siri set a timer for 10 minutes, at which time I will give it a flip. I'm gonna pour some of this raspberry chipotle sauce, and get it ready for basting towards the end. Chop up some cilantro and zest some lime. Okay, let's go back to the grill and give our pork tenderloin a flip. Let's go ahead and insert the old temperature probe here and give her a little baste. The 
The temperature is coming up fast, so it won't be long now. Okay, back to that lime zesting. Uncle Ben's Ready Rice is a very good product. It has all kinds of different flavors of these. I really love them. This cilantro lime rice is particularly great with dishes such as this. You just kind of squeeze the bag and break up the pre-cooked rice inside and vent it. Make sure you vent it or it will explode in the microwave. Bring out the pork tenderloin. And let's give it a nice little shot of that chipotle raspberry sauce. Mm -hmm. Now let's get that lime zest and give it a little zing, a little pep, a little zip. And finally, let's give it some of that nice bright cilantro treatment. I'm gonna add our cilantro lime rice here, which I added a little bit of chili powder to. Give it that chili lime type of flavor. Let's add a little bit of salt and pepper to that rice. I love me some pepper. Unbelievably tender. Perfect temperature on the inside and look how juicy. Look at that. An indoor grill, mind you. Fantastic. Wow, it's got a little bit of crunch when you cut into it. It's like cutting through butter. Look at that. Perfect temperature. And now for that special moment that makes it all worthwhile. We're going in. We're going in for the taste. We're going to Flavor Town. Look at this, a butter knife. Look at that. Super tender, moist, juicy. Oh, the flavor is just gonna, oh, let's hit, let's dip it in that chipotle raspberry sauce. One more time, please, before we indulge. Mmm, <clears throat> get out of town. That's the best pork tenderloin I've ever made. Hands down, best pork tenderloin. And I have grilled many a pork tenderloin. Some that will just make you scream, they were so good. That time I did that brown sugar caramelized pineapple with Caribbean rum sauce on the pork tenderloin that I did once, years ago. That was, knock your socks off, delicious. This is even more moist, perfect texture on the outside. So tender, I mean, you can cut this with a butter knife. You might almost be able to cut through it with a fork with a little effort, but you're gonna want clean cuts. Look how juicy, I mean, the juice was running all over the place. Today, air fryer, bam, knocked it out of the park. Pork tenderloin, I'm gonna enjoy this the next few days. <laughs> and uh, probably gonna make it again, revisit it down the road. Gonna have, have some fun playing with a lot of stuff here. Oh wow, I'm really running out of time fast on this without making the video too big. I'm not going to be able to get to the, the uh, chicken drumsticks comparison this time. I'll get them on the next video, so stay tuned. I want to thank you for tuning in and hopefully you took something good or some sort of positive vibes, great energy, great therapy. Hopefully this episode was therapeutic for you. I know this is my therapy. Thank you for being here and sharing it with me. I really appreciate that. And I'm very grateful for you. And I hope that you're staying home, staying safe and staying healthy. We're coming together as great Americans do and we stop it. We take care of it. <laughs> we want to get back to our normal lives again. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and click that little bell for me, please. Tell your friends to do it too. Get the word out. I need the word to be spread. Until next time, thank you. I'm Bobby Jean and this is Great Therapy. Christy, my daughter-in-law, you've probably seen, remember seeing her on some of the videos here. She just texted me and they got new furniture, new patio furniture coming next Wednesday. What's that mean for me? This is their new patio furniture they got coming. Which means they are passing on to me their current patio furniture, which is basically uh, a high top table with two chairs. Plenty for me. Plenty for me and a guest out there on the porch. Going to enjoy the beautiful, the sound of the waves crashing on the beach and the salt in the air. Good for the body, good for the soul, good for the spirit. It's healing. It's also my therapy. That beach is my therapy. It calls to me. I think I was a dolphin in a prior life. You know, I wouldn't want to know because I wouldn't want to be spoiled and somebody say, no, you were actually a starfish or you were a, a crab on the beach or 
-hmm. No, actually you were not a dolphin. It sounds great and I know you would enjoy to be one of those majestic and beautiful animals, mm -hmm. but you were a jellyfish. A sand flea, an aurora, or whatever you call those parasitic fish that ride on sharks looking for a free handout. I don't think I'd want to be a whale. You know, you got people hunting them. Whales go down deep into the deep regions of the water. And things like giant squids attack them. Got sucker marks all over them. And it's scary down there in the deep. It's dark. I've never been one that I wanted to go do in any deep water diving out there and down there in the dark. You can't see anything until it's on you. What if there's a shark right over there? From here to over there, there's a shark. Sizing you up. Hmm. Them thighs look nice and meaty. Nah, I was a dolphin. The way I swim, I even swim like a dolphin. You know, I grew up surfing on this beach and all the time I was out there, all the time I spent out there, hours and hours catching waves, all, you know, every weekend. I'm surprised. I'm, I, I don't wanna know how many sharks probably swam by me and went, oh, ah, no, that's not one I thought it was. It's good therapy. I just love it here. Can't wait to get out and do some more traveling though. That's probably gonna happen within the- <laughs>